So basic copying is very, very simple. Just go ahead and place your originals in the document feeder, print side up. And then if you want black and white copies, you'll click the black and white button. Or if you want color, you're going you're gonna to press the color button. Okay? Jim went up here and entered a number of copies. Can you hit this clear for me real quick? That will clear out number of copies. If I hit this clear all, it'll actually clear out everything. So today we're going to stick with basic copying. So we're going to show you how to do a two-sided copy. So two to two um, is a two-sided original going to a two-sided original. So if you have print on both sides of your paper and you want print on both sides of your paper, that's how you do it. One to two is if we had let's see 10 originals and we wanted to end up with five two-sided originals so we have print on one side of the document and we actually want print on two sides of the document so that's one to two and we always have the ability also to go from a two-sided original to single-sided also right here so normal copying is one to one-sided to one-sided we go up here thank you and we're going to click OK Right now, our staple sort is off. If we click in this box right here, it'll automatically default to a single staple in the left-hand corner. And that's going to be just fine for 99% of all jobs. If you want to get all fancy and put two staples in there, it'll do it like a book. And, and click OK over here. So you can see in the picture is that we have a document in the document feeder, so this, this arrow's on. We also have, a, uh, have it in staple mode. So what all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the effectiveness of clear all. So if he gets clear all, it just everything gets cleared out. It's pretty easy. So everybody can do two-sided copying now, and everybody can staple. From time to time, you're going to need to know how to make a document bigger or uh, make a document smaller, uh, reduction in enlargement is found in your copy ratio box. And we have already done some presets for you. And if you want to actually fine tune it with 1% increments, you just go over here and you can make it anything you want. Uh, we have a few others that are programmed in here. And then just go ahead and hit OK. And clear off. And that clears everything out for us. So that's your reduction in enlargement. We're going to spend a little bit of time explaining to you how to utilize your bypass tray. The bypass tray is located on the right hand side of the copier. And right now in the bypass tray we have plain paper. Now let's say that you want to print onto labels from your computer. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to change the the type of paper we're putting in the bypass. And you can actually see where there's all these different medias that we can choose from. So of course we're choosing labels. Once we choose labels, we're going to click OK and we're going to click OK again. Now it's programmed. Now if Jim hits clear all, it stays. It, it won't go back to plain. So if I'm printing from my PC, which will show you in a, in a different presentation, will show you that you have to pick, you'll print by paper type. And so when you go File Print Properties, under the Paper tab, there'll be a, a paper type that will select labels, and it'll send it to the copier, and the copier will say, all right, great, 
I got I, I can print labels out of my bypass. I go up to the copier, I log in. All I gotta do is put labels in my uh, change put labels in the bypass and it'll suck it through for me. So we're gonna go back to paper tab one more time. And this is the bypass tray. Okay. If we select the bypass tray, which Jim just did, okay, it'll just it'll print out of the bypass tray. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change the the type and size again. Back to plain. And okay. And you can see it says plain again. We're gonna do it one more time. So there's, there's a few ways you can get to it. You can see Jim's clicking over here, but I really want you to click right here. And right here it says plain and the type and size. We're actually gonna print on heavy paper. And we're gonna click okay, and okay. And you can see now it says heavy paper.